Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in October last year, just a couple of days after the initial release of Windows 11 24H2, I let you know about a new third-party app called Flyby 11 that allows upgrading to Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. And as mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below in the end screen, according to the developer, the app offers all working methods to bypass the restrictions for installing Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. Go check that video out for more info. Now, the reason for mentioning um, the app is because the developer of the program has now released a new version that makes it even easier and simpler to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And if we head over to the GitHub page where it's maintained and developed, Flyby 11 version 1.0 has now been released. And if you just scroll down to the bottom, here is the .exe file you can download and install on your system if you would like to do so. Now, um, just a quick side note, I personally don't uh, endorse or recommend or suggest that you try to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. But nonetheless, um, I did post this video previously, so I just wanted to um, do a follow-up on the new version of Flyby 11 just to keep you guys posted because I know obviously this is still a very popular um, thing to do, um, especially if you have an unsupported device and you obviously don't want to go out and buy, purchase a new machine, which is quite understandable. Now, as you may well know, there are a couple of ways you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Obviously, we get our manual methods and then there's Rufus, which I think is a very popular choice. But the nice thing about this new Flyby 11 um, update and what it brings to the table is you can now drag and drop a Windows ISO image right into the actual user interface, which makes it a lot easier to do an in-place upgrade and install Windows 11 on that unsupported hardware. Now, according to uh, the developer over on GitHub, it's mentioned that Windows 11 ISO can now be dragged and dropped for an in-place upgrade and it's mentioned that Flyby 11 takes care of the rest. So this is quite a simple way to get the job done, so to speak. So how this would all work basically is once you have downloaded the ISO file, you would drag and drop it onto the program um, user interface and then the application will then start an in-place upgrade um, at this point. And something else which I think is quite nice about this Flyby 11 is it also links you to Microsoft's official download website, which is this site, as you may well know. And here's where you can get your hands on the Windows 11 disk image ISO file, as you may well know. Now, that's the simplest um, way to get this done, is just to drag and drop it into the actual UI of the app. But there's another way you can do this, according to the developer over on GitHub. It's mentioned that in addition to in-place upgrades, you can now patch any installation USB drive, provided it was created using Rufus. So what you do is you simply click the Apply Compatibility Patch to ISO link and apply the patch to your previously created USB drive. And according to the developer over on GitHub, that will also get the job done and install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So there you have it. That's Flyby 11 1.0, which is the latest release. And just wanted to put it out there to do a follow on from that previous video if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.